everybody, my name is Shaylin and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be going over my curly hair routine, which I've had quite a few requests for actually on Instagram. I've had a couple girls ask me how I do my curly hair routine, so I figured I would get that out as one of my first videos. <laughs> I also just wanted to preface before we get started that this curly hair routine is only going to give you similar results to mine if you have naturally curly hair. Um, I'm no miracle worker, so if you have pin straight hair, I'm not going to sit here and say that this curly hair routine is going to magically give you some amazing tight curly curls. <laughs> curly curls! <laughs> Anyway, let's jump on into the video. So first, I do two things in a very specific order, which is contacts, then skincare. I don't want skincare in my eyeballs and I don't want hair care in my skincare. <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> I'm gonna speed through my contacts, but if you guys want an in-depth video on how I apply and remove contacts, just let me know in the comments. I'm also going to speed through the skincare portion. All I'm doing is applying moisturizer because at that point I had already cleansed my face in the shower and I was planning on staying inside all day so I didn't need any SPF. Um, but again, if you want a skincare routine video, then let me know in the comments. Starting off with the first part of the hair routine. I use my wet brush, which I always brush through my hair in the shower when I have conditioner in it, just because I find that it helps natural curls form a lot better um, once I'm out of the shower and everything's all rinsed out. But yes, anyway, I live by my wet brush. So for leave-in conditioner, which is the first step in my curly hair routine, I have three different products that I switch between for completely different reasons. So first I have my African Pride Olive Miracle. This stuff smells amazing. Like I can't even describe it to you. Like it's, mm, mm, mm. I just, I love the smell of this product. Okay. Okay. Not only is the smell amazing, but this is the leave-in conditioner that I prefer to put in my hair if I'm air drying my curls and leaving my hair down. Um, I just find that it dries the nicest and it holds my curls the best with minimal frizz. So the second one is Smoother by Rusk. So this is the product that my mom had me using at a very young age. Um, so I've been using it for many, many years in my hair. Unfortunately, the company Rusk discontinued this product and I'm honestly just really devastated about it because as you can see in the video, I only have like a little bit left of it. So I'm really like barely using it at all unless I like really want to use it or something. But if you can get your hands on this product, I love it for keeping my frizz at bay and specifically for like slick back buns or even ponytails. And number three is the As I Am Classic Leave-In Conditioner. This is a newer addition to my leave-in conditioner um, collection, uh, but it's also really good for forming my curls and keeping frizz at bay for when I leave my hair down and air dried. So unfortunately, not a lot of products have a pump, which is preferred for one hand application. So as you can see in the video, I very messily have to squeeze out product onto my affected arm. I guess the solution to the no pump problem would be to have like a designated plate that you could squeeze the product onto and then just scoop it off that way. Um, but 
I just do it this way. Just put it on my arm, call it a day, scrape it off that way. But basically for my hair, I use about half of the product that I squeezed out initially to coat the bottom of my hair, which basically to do that, I just grab all of my hair with one hand and then pull down to disperse the product all the way down. And I did this kind of out of order, but then I took a little more product and rubbed it down the back of my head. Next, I switch my hair to the other side and I do, I basically do the exact same thing that I did at first. And I also take more product for this side. Lastly, for leave-in conditioner, I put my hair behind my shoulders and take whatever product I have left and put it on the baby hairs in the front of my face and near the top of my roots to tame frizz for later on. Next, I use any comb. This one I got off Amazon by Cricut. And I basically just comb out any tangles that would prevent me from creating a nice clean part in my hair. Next, this is the product that does all the magic. If you're running out of product like I was here, the best way to get more product out with one hand is to bite down at the top of the tube and use your fingers to push more product down towards the bottom and then pinch the cap like I'm doing here to get the product out of the tip. Just like the Resk Smoother, um, this was a product that my mom introduced to me at a very young age. So I've been using the Resk Smoother and the Resk Wired for so many years. That is just like part of my daily life at this point. Um, but basically Resk Wired is a styling cream so it's going to hold your curls really well um, and tame frizz, but without like creating the crunchy kind of like hard clumped up curls that like a mousse or a gel or any kind of like other curl holding product would do. So I just really like this product because it keeps everything really light and smooth but it holds my curls all day long. And honestly, even for like days and days in a row. I pretty much do the same thing application wise as I did with the leave-in conditioner. But this time I also flip my hair upside down to get my hair at the back by the nape of my neck. Next, I pretty much just play around with my hair to rearrange where I want my hair to lay when air drying. And then lastly, I take that comb again to push up the hair at my scalp so that way it doesn't dry flat and it adds some volume. And then all you need to do to achieve my curly hair look is time. I prefer my hair to air dry over time as opposed to diffusing. 
because I find that when I air dry, um, I find that um, like the weight of the dampness of my hair kind of weighs down the curls and keeps my length as opposed to when I diffuse it, um, it kind of like shrinks up my curls and makes my hair a lot shorter than it actually is. So I just prefer to air dry. And then these are the results later that day after about four to five hours of drying in a cooler temperature. If you go outside while you're trying to let your hair air dry, you could potentially risk having um, frizz buildup from the humidity or any kind of like wind that would affect the condition of your hair. I prefer to air dry inside. I know that this wasn't a very hemiplegic focused video, um, but like I said, I had a lot of requests to do my curly hair routine. Um, so I wanted to get that video out as soon as possible, but I did throw in a few one-handed tricks, um, just to fit the theme of stroke survivor, hemiplegic, uh, how, how to hemiplegia. <laughs> so hopefully something in this video could help somebody. That being said, I know that it's kind of funny that I filmed this video with a slicked back um, bun, even though I was talking about my curly hair routine. Um, I did film a video of how I do my slicked back buns and ponytails. Uh, unfortunately, that footage got lost or deleted or something. I don't know where it went. Um, so if you want to see that video, then comment down below and let me know. I'll put a picture up here somewhere, um, but I have a pretty un <laughs> I have a pretty unconventional way that I do like low ponytails that I used to wear all the time for work if my husband wasn't home to um, like put a ponytail in my hair for me. Um, so if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments also. And I've mentioned this in every video so far, but I just wanted to kind of slip it in there and remind you guys that we do have a 100 subscriber goal. Um, so when you get me to 100 subscribers, you guys will get my stroke story video filmed and uploaded as soon as possible. So keep on keeping on. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.